everybody, it's another week and it's another episode of Gundam Build Guide. I am your Buster Queen and let's talk about what happened in Gundam this week. Alright, starting off with normal Gundam news, we have some hilarious news this week that Call of Duty Warzone, for whatever stupid ass reason, jacked the Amaro Ray logo for their own uses. Now, in their defense, it is technically just a fancy looking number four, but the internet was having none of that, so they all got dogpiled on, they all got flamed on, and they got accused of plagiarism, and it was hilarious. Now, technically, they did do a new drawing of the same logo, and technically, their version is a little bit wider and a little bit longer. But even if they didn't know that they plagiarized the logo last week, they know now, and they have done nothing about it, so fuck them. People are not showing up about, and quite frankly, they shouldn't. Activision has had no comment on this hilarious situation, and uh, they really should say something, because uh, plagiarism is evil. Now, they could totally easily change the logo to literally anything else now that they've been called out on it, but I don't think they're going to, because they're assholes, so this is just going to be embarrassing for them. Forever. Anyway, fuck Call of Duty. Lol. Also in news that might almost make me boot up this game again, Gundam Battle Operation 2 has officially reached their four year anniversary and to celebrate they've officially gone into the Gundam Unicorn timeline. Which means Gundam Unicorn and Shamblo have been added to the game. Wow, the Shamblo, that's a huge mobile armor. Um, yeah, so if you boot up the game this week, you might get one. Okay, so I pretty much wanted to comment on this in the last video I did, but I didn't have enough time because I was very stressed out. They've announced basically the entire first wave of high-grade model kits for the Witch from Mercury, which includes a couple of units that we have not seen in the trailers yet. Now, I haven't watched the prologue yet, so if these units showed up in the prologue, sorry, but they're new to me, so I'm going to look at them. First things first, we have this thing called the Daryl Ball. This is the coolest unit I've seen here. It looks like a super cool Char's Custom Bad Guy unit. It's got a double beam lance. I'm digging shoulder shields. Very, very cool unit. Very, very threatening. Next up is the Dai Lanza, the Zaku equivalent for this universe. It's kind of cool. Overall, the unit really emphasizes the strange stockiness that the units in the series have, and also the tiny little girly feet. But otherwise, it's a Zaku cousin, so I'm okay with it. After that is the Demi, the GM equivalent for this universe. We saw this thing in the trailer, but we only saw its head. Looking at the whole design, I'm not sure if I'm digging the super thick weapons on it, but I am digging the very GM custom paint scheme it has, and the overall coolness of it being an in-universe GM clone. After that, there is a customized Demi. This is the Demi Trainer type, and it appears to actually be a sniper unit. It also is apparently used by a mysterious character named B. I wonder if this is just a typo, or if there is actually going to be a mysterious character named B. This is Gundam, so I could totally see them doing something like that. Rounding it up because girls are hot, there will also be model kits of the main characters of the anime, Celeta Mercury, and her tsundere friend, Miarine Rembrandt. And that's all I have to say about that. Special thanks to my only Patreon subscriber, Spider-Girl55. Alright, now on Gundam Breaker Mobile, things are very, very lackluster this week. So we are officially one week before the anniversary. The anniversary is next week, the first week of August and things are still very slow and very boring. The only thing that's happened is the giveaway event for the anniversary has already started, and this week we have a new charity unit, and it's just the Tallgeese. It's very boring as it ever was. We got two new banners. The one new banner is for the Infinite Justice, who cares? The other new banner is for the EXS. I'm actually way more excited for the EXS in this week, but I gotta say it's a strange combo to combine them together. Usually the Justice Gundam is paired up with the Freedom Gundam, so I'm not sure why that couple broke up, but it did. Anyway, so this week with the freemium suits, um, I made some suits using GPO2 parts, Gundam Banshee parts, and rounding out my team was a Gundam Rebake Full City build. The weekly missions this week were about as easy as ever, and a new crew multi-mission popped up. And my crew actually got together and knocked it out on the spot, which was very great. Good job, guys. Super happy with you. Now, the other big news of this week is that the new story chapter, story chapter 20, has popped up. And I need to play it. I am very, very busy this week, so maybe I'll get around to playing it tomorrow. If I can make the time and get ahead of all my other problems. That's Build Guides for this week. Thank you guys for coming. I'm your Buster Green. Um, 
Stand by, I have more Ultraman review because I only reached the first half of my Ultraman review this week. Shin Ultraman was such a good movie. All right, later guys, see you.